Hi guys, just going to do another one of my bargain store projects. Got myself another one of these fabric shavers or defuzzers or whatever they're called. Um, now, to be honest, I didn't just buy this from the bargain store, uh, this one's actually a pre owned one. Um, but it's exactly the same as the one that I used in the previous project. Um, and the reason I'm going to use it, if you remember when I took the other one apart, there's a fan in there. And I just wondered whether there was going to be enough air blowing through there to make a little hovercraft rise off the ground. I'm going to have to take it right apart this time because uh, I'm going to have to get the motor out of it and get that little fan blade out of it and it'll probably be too heavy if I use it with the um, AA batteries in it so I may have to look at some other options maybe some button cells might give me enough power and I'm going to use one of these polystyrene trays that you can get from various well-known fast food outlets. So I'm going to see if I can cut that in half and use half of it as the body for a hovercraft. Let's see how we get on. Right, there's all the components stripped out. That's the plastic bodywork and uh, the bit that catches the fluff uh, the dust cover the little um, gauze to protect you from the sharp blades the little fan that I'm after a few screws couple of batteries, some fluff, the electric motor itself which is a little bit more substantial than some of the other ones we get in these cheap things and the battery housing which we won't be using. I've got a CR2025 button cell there, doesn't really matter which one it is, it's a 3 volt so if I go across there somewhere, it helps if I actually touch it in the right place. So it's working all right with the button cell. Whether that's got enough power to drive it, I don't know. But uh, certainly it runs with the button cell. So the next thing to do is modify that polystyrene box and see what happens. I'm going to have to try and keep it as light as possible. Using the um, the front of the original fuzz buster or whatever we want to call it, fabric trimmer, as a guide, I make a a duct out of pizza tray polystyrene. It's going to sit on there somewhere. I'm going to cut a hole in the base and put a sort of a flap in there that, so it will direct about half of the power down into the base to fill it with air and about half the power will go to the back to give us some forward motion. That's all very approximate. We just have to see how we get on. 
Right, there's a divider up the middle of the duct. The air going to the back will go across the top, and the air going underneath will be channeled down that way. I've got to put a little flap up from the bodywork yet. hole there and just bend it up so it goes up there and that will funnel half the air down and half the air back. I'll hot glue this in place in a second. Right, that's the vent cut out to go into the base or the flap. So the idea is that's going to Hot glue inside there and direct the air downwards. Alright, I've just hot glued the flap up inside my duct. And I shall glue the duct down and put the ring on the front there, but I'll need to just fill up a little bit round the edges so it's a nice seal. Might even do that just with hot glue just to fill the gap. Okay, I've mounted the ring on the front there. This will be the engine mounts. I'll just hot glue the engine there. make sure it's got clearance all the way round and then I've got to figure out how I'm going to mount the, back, the battery. Right, I'm going to go with trying to put a, a button to sell us the power. So I've made myself a little slot that the button cell is going to sit in. I'm just going to put a couple of bits of um, springy metal on either side to make the contacts. The bits of springy metal I'm using are actually out of a 9 volt battery. It's uh, bits that go down to the bottom of the battery. So I'm just going to put them in there and use them as the contacts on either side of the battery. Right then, there we are, motor in place. Button battery uh, mounting in place. The only problem is <laughs> it doesn't work. There's just not enough power. Which is a shame, because I think that looks quite neat. But uh, there's just not enough power to get that off the ground. I don't know if I can improve it in any way. The obvious answer is a much bigger fan, but the object of the exercise was to try and do it with the motor out of that uh, fuzz buster, as I keep calling it. Um, laundry fabric shaver. Laundry fabric shaver removes bobbling from fabrics battery operated. So, failure. What a shame. Because I like that. Never mind, we'll have to think of another project.